Hello, this is Lynn, and this is the overview for Libran Sun. The sun enters Libra on the 23rd of September and remains until the 24th of October. The third and final Mercury retrograde aspect this year is in your own sign, falling between the 17th September and the 11th of October, and perhaps disturbing that precious balance which you constantly strive for as a Libran sun, both consciously and otherwise. But if you work with this aspect, you will find yourself examining a little more closely than usual the facts and details of decisions made in the previous two or so months. And maybe looking also at the way others are asking you to accept the changes they're making which affect you. These may not be as smooth or straightforward as, you, as at first you, they appear. You may need to take on a stronger persona to represent where you stand or where you want to stand. The stationary position of Uranus in Aries at present in your opposing sign brings opportunity until the end of the year for you to get ahead or get a hold of the runaway order of events which took precedence without your sanction or maybe even without your awareness. In September, Venus is also going direct again after trawling Leo the whole of August so that you think twice about social or other obligations you have made which are not crucial and may or may not lead to enjoyment. By, by the time the sun enters your sign in late September, the truth of motives and matters pertaining to these things is getting clearer, leading to a restoring of the said balance by the end of October, provided you prepare to break out one duties or obligations or ties that simply bring tension, you can see your way clear to a better personal horizon, aided by the return of Saturn to Sagittarius and to where it was at the start of the year, and this time alerting you to the curtailing of extremes of money or energy which could be seeping into your work life and general duties. It is not necessary to break records or make history to achieve what is needed and September will show you that. The entrance of Jupiter into Virgo in August, followed by Venus and Mars into the sign in October, talks about your planning being important and perhaps low-key, maybe even a bit secretive. This could be because you are not certain whether you want your explorations or inquiries to be known about until you are more sure of answers. November brings those answers in the form of a collective or a coordination of events, holding facts which are compelling round about the third week of the month and a foregone conclusion by the second week of December, if you are going to go with what you have discovered. We could say that due diligence is everything now for your sign as 2015 winds down, and within that, of course, choice is always inherent. It is vital for Librans to have clear choices as they plan and move because their famous indecision mostly derives from the fear of getting stuck. Thank you. Join us for the next overview, Sun in Scorpio.